Well, hello there. Uh, thanks for clicking this video. Um, I don't know exactly how you landed here, but yeah, stay a while because this may pertain to your interests. Because today we're gonna look at Anodyne, uh, which is a um, yeah, it's like an action RPG sort of uh, by uh, Sean Hogan and Jonathan Kitaka, uh, who also. Uh, I think they have like a, a game company that is called Analgesic Productions, I think. But you know, they prefer in any case, you know, at least that's how uh, how I how I read it. Uh, you know, to be to be called by their uh, real name. So you know, but let's leave it at that. Links are going to be in the description as always. Um, right. Uh, my name, as always, is uh, Strong K, and uh, yeah, let's uh, jump right into it. Anodyne. Um, like I said, this is a yeah, sort of like like a flip screen, like an overhead, like top down uh, RPG, not unlike uh, the Zelda series, especially like the earlier parts. Um, and let us just continue here. Uh, as you see here, my uh, the playtime is almost three hours. That is, however, misleading because uh, I actually previously wanted to uh, shoot a video of this game. And it turns out I recorded this entirely without my commentary, so like the sound of the microphone wasn't on there. And I think like the game just like keeps like counts your total playtime. So um, at this point, I'm like 90 minutes into the game, and uh, I just completed this section here, uh, which is the uh, forest section, I think, or the forest level. And um, let's read the thing here, East Cliff. So this is one of what we're gonna do now. We're gonna explore the cliff section. I have not been there before. I've been there in the last video, so but in this game, you know, this is all new to me. So I can hopefully explain, uh, you know, how the game plays, works, and so on and so forth. So we are this uh, little man here on screen. Our name is Young, and um, we have to, I think, save the what is called Briar. I'm not really sure. The story is kind of vague up to this point. But it's at the same time pretty like run of the mill. Like you know, um, you're like the lone hero. You have to save the world, possibly or at least you know some parts of it. Uh, and you just like rummage around here using the arrow keys. You have a weapon which is a broom, and you can also jump. This ability you get later on, like very early in the game, but you know not within like the very first levels. So um, yeah, it's like up top. You see, this is like very 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 very. Um, familiar to you if you have played uh, Zelda uh, specifically I think this reminds me of the um, I don't know like I don't know the uh, the English title it's the uh, the one that came out for the Game Boy the the thing with the fish the island and in Japanese it's called um, Yume o Miro Shima uh, which I think loosely would translate as um, uh, the uh, uh, like dream watching island or something like that I don't know uh, yeah my Japanese is a little rusty um, but um, you know feel free to correct me but this is more or less what it means uh, I think the English title is I think must be Link's Awakening I'm not really sure uh, so like graphically speaking that is you know you have like those flip screens here like you navigate around you got your weapon you got your health bar up there you, you can see um, that I've already you know added some uh, yeah rubies or whatever those are so um, and then you have um, the the mini map you know that shows you like your surroundings here and you have the number of keys keys allow you to uh, to um, open passages that are blocked by you know doors and stuff they're generic and then you have like special keys I'm going to talk about that in a second when I explain the inventory um, those chests are pretty useful obviously because you can find set keys in them and let's just oh shit but yeah fret not because those guys drop rubies with which to replenish our health. Not always, but, you know, at least sometimes. Okay, yeah, and this is like, we cannot pass this. However, I'm like encountering those blocks more and more, so I think that rather sooner than later, I'll be able to like obtain a weapon like a pickaxe or something, you know, with which I can uh, destroy those blocks and adventure on. I think this is like the third instance. Uh, you know, where I um, cannot proceed because of a, uh, a rock like that. Um, let's take a look at the inventory real quick, uh, or like the, the menu actually. So this is like a bigger map, you know, than the one that you, you can see up top. This is useful if you get lost, if you want to find your way. Uh, items, we don't have that many. We have a broom, 
and we have the uh, widen upgrade so that our like our strikes have like a uh, wider area of effect really uh, what we got down here are uh, shoes spring loaded shoes press X to jump this is exactly what that was and we have two out of three special keys yeah the temple of the seeing one and in uh, yeah found in an underground cave this we do not have right then you have cards those are sort of like bonus cards you need them um, to sort of progress in the game there are certain doors that can only be unlocked if you uh, have acquired a certain number of cards and there's basically like the monsters or people that you encounter uh, you know throughout your journey then you can save and exit the game and you can uh, you know it's like configurate your your settings here so yeah that is basically it and then let's just like jump right into it and uh, actually play a little to sort of you know get a feeling for uh, how this how this guy plays out um, right on okay uh, so the cliff section well actually is a little bit different in so far okay oh those are checkpoints so by pressing C we can save here so we will respawn there and um, also um, our health is being replenished if this checkpoint is not activated you know before we step on it uh, and let's check out this cave here to sort of uh, you know okay let's uh, I'm gonna not safe here just to like demonstrate later on what I mean uh, by that you know just like illustrate because I'm sure to lose some health here uh, alright so yeah those guys they're real pain in the butt man this took me forever to figure out how they work but you know no I am smarter I just discovered this by accident okay that was actually not that bad alright uh, so yeah, this jumping puzzles, they're getting like more and more here. And again, this game is like very very it's like if you've played Zelda, oh this is this is tough, this is tough, this is tough. Okay, let's try that again. Ah oh, no, we can't do that. See, because this is two squares. Ah, this is getting harder and harder. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's jump up here. Let's no no. Why me? Okay, I hope this is not going to be what the uh, This is bullshit. Okay, let's continue. Sorry about that. Yeah, but the puzzles actually get harder and harder. This is something that I uh, indeed, uh, you know, am realizing uh, because so far, like the difficulty has been pretty fair. Um, not exactly sure, dude. Why? Okay, if I will. Oh, 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 oh. oh. I could have used that. No, I. No, impossible. Impossible to. Just leave, man. Just bounce, okay? This one. This one. So yeah, difficulty is like casual. No, dude, that was good. That was a good jump, man. I don't know. I don't get it. Okay, let's uh, move over here. Okay, that was cool. We got it. Okay, there are people here. And a wolf. Okay, so let's... Uh, the wolf is... It's kind of annoying, but not that hard, actually. Because what the wolf does is... He just runs to ever, wherever you are, and then, you know, goes, like, on a horizontal line. Move it. Equip the extend upgrade into the menu for the room to reveal this harmful dust. Okay, that sounds promising. And you know, let's do that. Items, wait, items extend. Ah, so it's either or. Okay. Okay, well, I don't know if that is really all that useful to be perfectly honest with you guys. So if I die here, no, I have to do this shit again. Okay. 
Yeah, this does not bode well. Let's see if we can, we, if we are able to keep the, this stuff. Yeah, we have it. Okay, fuck it. Let's not go back in there. Sorry, I'm terrible at this. But the thing is, like, up to this point, I have not... I mean, also, of course, because I've played this twice already, but I have not died yet. And, you know, I just died, like, four times in there, I think. Okay, so th those are teleporters, and they, uh, you know, once activated by pressing the C button, they bring us back to the hub world. This is sort of like the hub world where you can, um, you know, travel from uh, level to level or world to world. Uh, and also uh, check out the elder. This is the elder who is sort of like, you know, your your mis like mysterious guide or whatever. Okay, a gem has appeared on top of the area's portal. Okay. Thanks. I don't really know what to make of this, but you know, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be useful sooner than later. Okay, let's go back to the cliffs level here to. Um, Explore some more. Okay, here we are, and this is actually oh, like one of the strong suits of the game. That's the uh, the immersion. Uh, I mean, clearly, this cave is unexplored. I mean, clearly, this is nothing like you know. I don't know. Like my my prime example always is uh, Riven. You know, where you have like a really like grand uh, sort of world to discover. You have like your ecosystem, the culture. Oh, another wolf. Dude, I think the... Come on, come on, come on. There you go. I think the the, the widen is still more useful than the extend uh, upgrade. Okay, so this is locked. Let's go back upstairs. Um, yeah, so, um, you know, it's not like you have, like, a really intricate world to discover here. Let's just save here. Um because uh, this is not the case. But what this game really, like, it not only conveys the spirit of the early, like, those, um, you know, action JRPGs like in the uh, Zelda series, uh, you know, that is like, it has a very cool, like, the exploration is, is fun. Because, uh, you know, it, it gives you, like, a good mixture of, like, a challenge. Oh, okay, Talking Wolf. Swiss jar, yeah, that's cool. See again here, like I think I have to get like something to crack those 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 rocks here. Um, right, you, you like you run into interesting characters, not necessarily you know all of which are uh, you know crucial to your quest. It's just like you know littered with um, or cluttered with uh, you know interesting people to like talk to, and you know that give like the world a certain flavor. Um, oh, okay told me they were going off to look around the beach. Okay. Yeah. That is true. Hmm. Okay, uh, now he's repeating himself. Yeah, no worries. Um... So this is like sort of, uh, you know, uh, the immersion in the sense of like a, uh, yeah, fairy tale-ish sort of game, you know? It is like, uh, um, you know, you have your set environments, uh, your set worlds, they, you know, have like um, a distinct graphical, or like a distinct uh, aesthetic to them, like, you know, an appearance, sound, the sound is really nice, like the chiptune music, really dig that. So, you know, good job in the, in the sounds department. Uh, let's enter the cave here, because this is going to be like a harrowing experience. I don't know what's up with those dudes. If they're like zombies or what, you cannot talk to them. You can just push them around. Um, that's really cool. Um, so, yeah, you know, in that way, and you know, if you, if you know actually how the... Oh, the frogs are assholes, man. Because their attacks are super unfair. Maybe for those guys I should... Oh, no, see what I mean? No, dude! Um... The, the extend uh, broom here. Okay, wolf. Yeah, nice. Um... Right, so, um... You know, like... Um... What's, what's his face? Uh... This, uh... Well, like, uh, what the original Zelda was actually all about was, like, you know, when the, um... Dude, I forgot his name, I'm sorry. Like, the designer, super famous guy, man, I don't know why I forgot it. 
Uh, oh, okay. Let's try to use this system. This train system, I will call it. Okay, let's see what's up here. Haha. -ha. Nothing. Oh, dude. I, why did it hit me, man? So how should we go about here? We have to come in from the south, I think, because... You need dust to activate uh, those things. This also I found out like pretty pretty late in the game actually. Uh, let's jump. So yeah, what I was gonna say. So the original Zelda was supposed to like you know uh, like aesthetically represent the uh, the notion of like wandering you know in like the Japanese countryside, ex like run, like stumbling upon caves, exploring them and stuff like that. And you know this is something that is captured here pretty well, you know, because this this sort of conveys like uh, this original sense of of the series, uh, which I totally like. This is really cool. All right, um, and this is what the game does actually right. Um, you know, it's like it's a really good job in recreating this feeling. Also, with like this sort of like fairy tale notion. Wow, dude! Especially in levels like the uh, the forest level, uh, you know, and so on and so forth. Uh, that, that's really why. That's really a job well done here by um, Anodyne. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like, you know, generally, like, the music plays its part. It, the music itself is very anodyne, if you uh, catch my drift here. Okay, let's push this guy onto the, uh, the switch here, because I'm sure we need to activate both to sort of... Oh, this guy fell down the hole. Sorry, buddy. That was not my intention. I don't know what's up with those people. Like, I read somewhere, and I hope I'm not spoiling anything, but since they actually advertise it on their own... Um, on their own uh, uh, Steam um, Greenlight uh, page, that is sort of like I think like I expect there to be like some sort of a twist there. Oh, dude. But we're safe now. Um, so you know maybe everything does not or is not as it seems. That would be like one reading. Okay, activate this guy. I have to say, like this level in particular is pretty like uh, puzzle laden. I hope I didn't like drop the freaking dust. I think I dropped it. Uh, I'm such a fool. Uh, because yeah, dust goes into the. Um, it's like if you drop it down an abyss or like a hole, it stays there. You know, it's it's gone. It's, it falls down. Okay, jump, jump. Okay, I think the uh, energy balls kind of hit us here. Exactly. Good job. Ah, uh, dude, you cannot even run from this guy. Man. Frogs, I hate you. Maybe I should really use the uh, the new extension. Let's try this out. No, let's first um, fight the bat. Because bats are way easier to fight with the um, with this one here. And then let's just see what happens here, right? Still kind of hard. Gotta say. Still... <laughs> Still kind of hard. Um, okay, let's jump over here, and I'm gonna re-equip. Frogs are still still assholes. Okay, there's nothing here, I guess. Oh, let's check that out anyway. All right. I mean, yeah, this like the story. The story is ah, oh, dude. The story is so so. You know, I mean, there's probably gonna be like a twist there rather sooner than later. Oh, that was actually pretty, uh, pretty good. Uh, okay. Oh, we got a new card. How do you like them apples? Uh, but, you know, it's like, so far, really nothing to write home about. Okay, we've been here already. Okay. 
Okay, we hit this guy. You know what? Let's, uh... Yeah. How do you like them apples? Coolio. So I think we have to kill all those guys to uh, get access to the... The chest here. Ah, two frogs! Die! Die, two frogs. Okay, where am I now? Ah, okay, I know where I am. Do I have to do this again? Well, let's uh, quickly save here. Ah! Oh, no! Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay, yeah, let's let's move on here. It's like get out of my way, man. Ah, dude, it's wolf and frogs, man. It's a very bad combination. No. Ah, I'm such an idiot. Great. Did he hit me? Okay, another key. Let's check upstairs real quick. Okay, there's... Okay, there's... Like, I don't know. We have to hit the button first. Yeah, please respawn. Uh... Okay... So, we could technically go through here. Let's check here, though. Okay, what do you got here? Lots of people. And a wolf. Nice. Okay. Uh huh. This is going to be hard. Okay, I'm going to die here. No! Just like the last thing. The last whatever that was. This is a cool respawn point, by the way. Uh, okay, where was that? Where, where did I need to go? Yeah, I get lost. I'm not even going to bother. Okay. No! Yeah, the game is getting harder and harder. Like, uh, I mean, this is like the, uh, the impression that I had, uh, really like the f No, dude. The first time I was, I was playing this guy, uh, or uh, more specifically that I had arrived at this level here, that, um, uh, another key. Uh, you know that like the difficulty ramps up here, you know in terms of, of like the puzzles and such Let's try to get like a ruby out of this guy ah. Okay, got it cool 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 And then just like let's bounce You, you guys are not helping really I don't know Okay Okay, there we are. Uh, yeah, it's like right into the next cave, I guess. Maybe there's like a safe point there that we can use. Yeah, hey, apparently there is. All right, that's interesting. Hmm. Okay, I get it. Okay, so yeah, this is basically like, um, you know, um, like all in all, oh, here's like the same story, so I think I have to fight the frogs. 
No. Oh, dude, no, man. This is like such a rookie mistake. Frogs are really mean, man. They're assholes. The most annoying uh, enemies so far. Okay, let's see what this cave has in store for us here. Um, because so far, yeah, it was a, it's like the strong, the really like strong suit of the game, like I said, you know, uh, is the uh, the exploration system, really. This is what makes this great, because, you know, it uh, is like the immersion. It was actually not the exploration, which is part more precisely of the uh, immersion, um, which is really cool, you know. It's fun to explore the world, like, uh, it's challenging. But at the same time, it's, I mean, it's its getting harder and harder, but it's, I also wouldn't call it unfair, necessarily. Jump at your own risk? Will do. But there's more shit to discover, right? Um, so I'm gonna save here, because now we've opened this uh, passage anyway, so we can just return. Um, uh, because you can basically just restart, you know, you've got unlimited lives. I mean, it, it's like the game gives you like an overview of how many times you died, I think, but uh, I'm not really sure if that matters or not. Um, okay, ah, uh, this is here. Great. So, dude, let me get through here. Uh, I mean, it, it's getting more, it's like, more and more challenging, and um, I don't know if like the difficulty actually keeps ramping up, then I don't know, you know, if this is still like that fun. What am I doing here? Like, talking and... This is intense. The, the wolves are gonna get the better of me, man. Yeah. What are you gonna do without your friend, huh? No! Stupid me, man. Okay, let's jump here. Yeah, great. At least we got a chest. What do you want, right? Oh, cool. Who's this guy, actually? I'm I'm curious, because this is like this guy, those guys that are like zombies. Oh, this enter means to leave, right? Yeah, this is like, this is the only control issue that... Okay. Not helpful that I have with this game is sort of this. Ah, okay, I get it. This was, this was here. Okay, let's just uh, save here to regain our health, and then uh, move on to... Um, the area over here, I guess. No, it was up there, and then. So yeah, uh, because so far, so uh, you know, my verdict, uh, so to speak. Because um, so far, the game had like this great sense of immersion. Dude, get lost here. Those guys are really annoying. Um. And uh, sort of like the uh, those puzzles or those caves with like the action, uh, yeah, action puzzles or like you know finding the enemies, like those action sequences. This is not it. This is not it. But I have to go through here in any case. Um, we're sort of like I don't know to employ like this. Uh, oh no, it was here. Uh, was like it's sort of like the, the sprinkles on the muffin. You know, it's a cool game. It's it's solid. Uh, it's fun to play and it's fun to explore the world. It's fun to meet the characters. Uh, and then you also have like a very appealing, um, you know, action part that is integrated there. Oh, those guys can fall down. Yeah, how you like that? Okay, this looks like a boss fight. I'm not gonna do the boss fight because the video has been pretty long already, and also I don't want to spoil it. Uh, but you know, rest assured that um, I uh, yeah, I I'd definitely recommend this game. The only thing, like the downside to the whole thing, is that uh, it is actually um, let's push those guys down here. Uh, it is actually uh, asking price. Uh, the asking price is nine dollars, which is you know, like I'm a I'm a like uh, you know I'm I'm a stingy motherfucker, and this is what you get for it. Um, twice actually, it doesn't really matter. Uh, that's it. Oh, there's no murmur anymore. Oh, this is cool. Um, so, um, yeah, it's like for any game of that sort, I mean, I cannot, like, see, or, like, I cannot, I'm not able to foretell, like, or to estimate how long this game is going to be. I think, uh, the playtime is, like, substantial enough because there's going to be a twist, you know, um, there, uh, you can already see areas that you have not yet discovered and areas that you already have discovered, but, you know, that have more to them. There's, like, parts of the map that you cannot access. There's, like, certain doors or obstacles that you still, 
you know, have to like get out of the way to uh, proceed. So I think like, I don't know where this is going to clock in, but it's decent, you know, let's put it that way. Um, if you're looking for something like that, you know, if you if you were a huge fan of the early uh, Zelda games or like uh, Final Fantasy Adventure, Secret of Mana, uh, whatever, Times of Lore, if you played that on your Commodore 64 back in the day, you know, this is, I would definitely recommend this to you because the atmosphere that this game creates is great. The sense of immersion is great in this sort of like fairy tale world that still has a twist, but you know it's not only like uh, a, 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 a like sort of like a blast to the past in terms of you know Zelda nostalgia. It also is a good game in its own right. You know, even though it's like even if you have not played a Zelda game uh, in your life and you don't know what Zelda is. Uh, you will still be able to enjoy this, you know. So this, it's basically able to stand on its own two, on its own two feet, which is cool. Um, so if you're like, if you're looking for that in a game, if you're looking for like, you know, sort of like a uh, retro type of Nintendo or like a Game Boy type of uh, action RPG, like a flip screen action RPG, totally recommend this guy. You're gonna have loads of fun with this. Um, if you're not a huge fan, or basically let me put it that way to like sort of, you know, come full circle, I would only not recommend it to people who definitely know they, they're not gonna enjoy this type of game. If you hated Secret of Mana, if you hated Final Fantasy Adventure, all those games, you know, this is like the only reason to stay away from this. If you're like, you know, uh, if you have like the faintest interest in RPGs of any kind, you know, if you like those type of games, they're sort of like, you know, fairy tale-ish. Also, don't take themselves too super seriously uh, because, you know, some of the things are like tongue-in-cheek. There's also like a very obvious Zelda reference, uh, you know, it's like one character. Uh, but, you know, you can find this out for yourself, actually. So, yeah, definitely a recommendation uh, because this game basically came sort of out of left field. Like, I've just, uh, you know, they're trying to get this greenlit on Steam, so, you know, uh, so this is where I stumbled upon it. Really cool uh, thing, though. So, um, yeah, this is definitely a thumbs up. It's, uh, it's, uh, oodles of fun. Um, as always, I'm gonna uh, post everything in the description. Uh, hope you like this video so far. Uh, you know, leave a comment or whatever, you know, if you feel inclined, I'm always happy to get feedback. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, uh, and I will fight the boss now, and, uh, yeah, I'm a huge meanie. Alright, thanks a lot, and bye-bye. Or, you know what, let's just fight the boss real quick, because I, I think we have, like, a couple of minutes for that. Um, oh, okay, I remember this guy. You know what, let me actually, uh, equip this, this thing here. Uh, because I think that's more useful. Okay, let's try to hit him, like, a lot right now. Because later on it's gonna be harder and harder. He's gonna employ some... ...tactics here that are... Uh, he almost got us. Down to three health. Yeah, that's it. Suck it. Whatever this guy is. John. Which I have to learn to deal with people sooner or later. Yeah, so this, again, like, you know, sort of hints at, like, a bigger underlying issue. You know, not unlike maybe, um, like, the Binding of Isaac or something like that. I'm not, I'm not really sure. So now we get, like, one more health ruby. And, um, let's continue. Okay, so this is the, uh, the village elder. He's gonna... Still tries to face... Let's not get our guard down. Keys yet young? <laughs> Go to the beach. Okay, he's just repeating himself. Okay, so I think this is the last of those special keys that we need, actually. So as you can see here, yeah, we now have all three keys. And we got the monster boss card. Okay, uh, yeah, and let's teleport back to the hub world. Okay, cool Leo, so if you activated, activated this one. So yeah, that was it for me, this time for realsies. Uh, you know, leave a comment, hope you enjoyed it, uh, do whatever you must. 
Um, and I hope to see you soon in no time. All right, thanks a lot again, and bye-bye.